hey guys how are we doing tomorrow we are going to go do what some people call rough fishing what i mean by rough fish i mean like by like buffalo drum carp any type of carp it don't matter common carp silver carp asian carp grass carp they're all considered rough fish and when we go fishing for them i got a special bait i make but in order to make it effective you kind of have to chum the area up but before you guys go chumming up where are we going to fish? Check your state regulations and everything. Make sure you're good to go. Here in Missouri, you can do it. And what we're going to chum that water up with is this beef feed. And technically, it's called range cubes. High energy range cubes. You can get them at any Buckeyes, Orsons, any type of feed store. And I'll take these and I'll crush them up somewhat. Okay? The cone cubes like this. I mean, you could take them out there and throw them out there, but it takes longer for them to dissolve. But what I like to do is I'll take them in a, take a bucket like this, and I'll take them, and I'll put a pretty good handful in there, and I'll take a little sledge, and I just kind of Break them up to where they're about, about like that, you know, smaller pieces in there. And they will dissolve in the water a lot faster for the fish to find it. But now the bait I make, what you're going to need is some pure sour gum molasses, all-purpose flour, wheat flour works real good too. The water, range cubes, bowl, mix them up with, and a spoon to kind of stir them together. The flour is pretty much just a bonding agent. You're going to mix it in there in the water and you'll knead it up to the consistency where you like it. It's all about how much the consistency you guys want. Well, I have some range cubes I've already crushed up. Like I said, I dumped it in that bucket, and I, this time I took my hammer, and I just kept smashing until it's just a real nice powder like that. All right, I'm going to dump it in the bowl here. Take your old molasses. I'm doing this outside where it's hotter, so this stuff will be a little easier to mix. And this stuff cold, absolute nightmare. Any of your buffalo, carp, and stuff, they almost all have a sweet tooth. And this the range cubes, it's got like some grain in it. It has crude protein, crude fat, crude fiber, calcium, salt. But it has like cane molasses and different grain products in it, which is all attractive to carp. But the one thing about this bait, you will sometimes catch channel cat and stuff on it too so okay, just gotta keep mixing mix it up until it gets bound up and I like to get in there and get dirty and in there kind of knead it up all right Take a little flyer. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't have any measuring system. I just kind of wing it. I just kind of put some water in there too. I just kind of mix it up until it gets a nice sticky consistency. Basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna make a dough ball out of this and you're gonna put it on a little treble hook once we, when we go tomorrow, I'll kind of get into detail about that, you know, so. It's a little work, but 
I've had really good luck over the years with this stuff. I don't do this too often, but like sometimes people want to see something a little different. So I figured, well, hey, you know, I'll make a rough fish video for you guys. All right, we've got some water in there. It's a little loose yet, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna work it together, get it all in there, and where it's. I'm gonna add some more flour. When I get done with this stuff, I will put it in the ice box, the Ziploc bag, or sometimes zip type of container, like a Tupperware container or something, sealed up, and let it sit for a while in the cold. Helps it set up. Right now, it's out here. It's pretty warm, so it's gonna be a little gooey. Like right there, I like that consistency right there. So if you mix it up, make sure you get out everything all. And guys, don't do this in the kitchen if you can help it. The wife or your significant other, probably a high-speed coming cart part you can do on this, so a little messy. But on the right side, it don't stink. You know, like a lot of prepared catfish baits. Some guys will add like strawberry Kool-Aid or something like that for a little more sweetener. But I just, I kind of think with the molasses, it's, it's enough sweetener in there. All right, so you want to be able to take it wide up like that. Make a dough ball like that. So, so that's how we make that bait. So tomorrow morning, we're going to get up, get up early. Going to chum the hole up real good. Usually it'll take a couple hours before they really get in there. So, but then once they find it, Oh man, it can be crazy. I mean, it just go ape shit over it. So, all right, guys, we've made it down to the to the car pole. Got to wade through all these vines and whatnot. We had a lot of rain last night. I mean, like a torrential, like flooding conditions, and it brought this thing up probably a good couple foot which being the carp and everything it should work out to our advantage so but. okay all right we're gonna have to clear us out of fishing area again i bought my nephew with me today gauge so we're gonna I got a bucket of range cubes. I'm gonna chum this hole up while we're getting getting ready, our fishing area ready. So. Don't go through your whole bucket of uh, chum. Save a little bit, because the day goes on, you can freshen it up to keep these fish, but it's gonna take them a little bit to get in here and find us. So while we're waiting, we're gonna throw some night crawlers and stuff out on the bottom and just do a little fishing that way to give them time to find this, so. I'm right, gonna bait up with a big old juicy crawler for now to get this stuff time to work. Yeah, all that stuff you guys see moving around out there, that's gar. This thing is lousy with rough fish, so. Oh, I'm getting a bite, guys. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, we got off. Thing's got a lot of bullhead, bullheads in it too, so I wouldn't be surprised if we catch a few of these them on my on the old crawlers. So Wow. See that gauge? Yeah. There's some giant, giant grass carp in here. Oh, there we go, guys. <clears throat> oh. That's a turtle. <clears throat> Alright guys, a lot of people freak out when they get a turtle, but just take your hand, wrap around his neck like that, and just hold him. Reach down. Get your hook. He stops chewing on it. Oh, there you go. There you go. And you just release them all right guys we're starting to use the dough balls now because the water's not real real deep right where we're at and you can kind of see we've been starting to see some carp rolling around here and i actually had the gopro off because it's raining and i hooked a really nice fish oh, oh. and i'm gonna tell you right now you're gonna miss a lot of fish with these dough balls because the buffalo a lot of times they won't take and the common carp would usually take it pretty aggressively but but your buffalo not so much so they'll usually kind of beat around on it so they can be kind of a pain in the, the hook Something's already found it, but not. If you've got a big old gar, got a double. Oh, well, evidently the gar like the dough balls too. So, some of the guns gonna hit a crawler. There we go. What we got? Oh, got a bow fan, or some people call them. Grinnell. Wow, that's a pig, dude. Still got him? Yep, you got him yet. Yeah. 
big old common. Maybe we can get them. Dang it. Dang brush pile. We just got him barely in the side of the face right there too. Alright, there you go. Slowly getting them. There you go. Is he wrapped? We still got a little piece right there. There we go. There you go. Alright. Got the first target species for the day. That's an old common carp. Get them out of there and show everybody. Right, that's what we're after, guys. Not a giant by no means, but boy, they're a blast and I like tackling, ain't they? Yeah. All right, let's get that girl back in the water. Oh, what do we got? I'm gonna grab neck gauge. I don't wanna lift this guy up over the bank here. Another bow thing, guys. Come here. <laughs> Nephew's sitting there trying to get this guy for me. He's getting hit. <laughs> and I caught the dang bow fin on a dough ball. Everything likes to do balls. <laughs> oh, another grinnel. That's like what we call them around here, but everybody calls them technical names like a bow fin. So, all right, guys, my nephew has got a got the first buffalo. Hey, let me grab the net here. All right, got him hooked in the. Oh, there we go. All right, guys, that is. One of the other species we were trying to target, and he got him hooked in the lower. There we go. That is a common, common buffalo. So go ahead and chunk him back. And all right, what do you got, buddy? Oh my goodness, big old buffalo. That's a right in the dang dang gum brush again. I don't know if you're gonna get him out of there. We're gonna have to get that brush out of there somehow. Yeah. Nope, oh, there we go. Keep it right in there. Yeah, that brush, big guy. Woo! Oh, come on. Got him. Look at the size of this buffalo, guys. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Let me get a one. That's a nice buffalo, buddy. Yep. All right. Sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and check. A nice one. All right, guys, we'll get him back. Looks like a bullhead or something you had. Nope, oh, there we go, guys. Got a drag stripper. Fish got some weight.
He's mad, Gage. He's mad. <laughs> I have no idea what it is yet. Yeah, I might want to get some rods out of the water so I don't get a big old tangled mess. Always heading right to your brush pile too. Ooh, big old carp, big old common carp, y'all. All right. Woo wee, y'all. Look at the size of this dude. Let's get the net back here a little bit. Got some ground to work on here. Good golly, that's a dandy. All right guys, look at that big old horse. That is what it came down here for. All right, let's get this big old girl back. Boy, I'm sitting there trying to get my other rod back together after catching that big carp. And boy, some just smoked this one about drug it in the water. Big old bow fin. All right. Oh, sorry, buddy. No, it's all right. <laughs> all right, guys, another bow fin. They're hard to hold anything. They're pure muscle. There he goes. There we go, guys. Guys, a buffalo. All right. to hang on to all right there we go another old, old buffalo let's grow back boy these dang gar wearing me out on these night crawlers dang gar What you got, buddy? No, oh, I got a drum. Another species to the uh, list. Old freshwater drum. Gasper goo. Alright, get him back. Alright. All right, guys, every once in a while when you're doing this, you just need to refresh up the chum.
Got him? Yeah. All right. Oh, what you got there, bub? Nephew's hooked up. Suckers. Oh, dang, buddy. Woo. Got your drag set? He has got a toad. All right. Whew, stripping that drag. He don't want to come in, does he? Oh, the light tackle is so much fun. These carp, they, ain't, they won't come in until they're ready, you know. Well, those, boy, that is a freaking dandy gauge. Hopefully it stays out of that brush pile. Where he's heading. All right, there he goes, coming away from it. go yeah big mama <laughs> all right that's your best uh common carp yep the best one on ultralight too that's awesome we can get that girl back in there and nice job bud me a little fist bump damn <laughs> boy this dang wind kind of makes it hard to see your line because they just don't Got him? Holy shit! You pissed him off, Gage. Oh, and I'm all wrapped up in your line too, buddy. Okay, we got a mess here, guys. Well, as soon as he set the hook in that fish, he took off like a freight train. Well, we don't lose this fish because of me, I'll be surprised. Everybody, all you. All right. Boy, that's back to back giants, bud. Back here, get the net while I'm tussling this beast. Woo wee! That one might be bigger than the first one you just hooked. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Two PBs in a matter of minutes. What the heck? You got a grass car, bud. I'm gonna make sure I get everything. Yeah, I think you got you got a grass car, bud. Go, oh, my god, keep hand on getting that brush. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I know. I got much control over there. Wow. No, that, that's a freaking Asian. Got a big old Asian carp. Man, I used to hate to do it. Give her some line. Open the bale. Let her run away from it. There we go. There we go.
little info on these things, guys. By state law, once he gets this fish in, we got to keep it on the bank. You're not allowed to throw back Asian carp or silver carp with them being an invasive species. But he's a long way from uh, being landed. <laughs> Oh, airborne! <laughs> that sucker did not want to give up. You gotta war, gotta war down now. Well, maybe not. <laughs> uh oh, she break it? Yeah. Dang! Yeah. Eight pound test, I mean. Yeah, that was a giant too. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was a heartbreak. Yeah. Oh, there we go, guys. Yep, got a common carp. Oh, no, no, Gage. Terrible net job. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what do you got? Oh, buddy. Pretty sizable, what have we got? Yeah. Looks like a big common. See that bit of orange. Oh, yep, big old common. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, he swallowed that sucker, didn't he? It's right there in his lip. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Nice fish. Sweet. Old buffalo. All right. buffalo you know a lot of people like smoke these things like cut the rib section out and smoke them actually pretty good eating but uh, i'm not a huge fan of them but they are good eating though 
and uh we were using a size eight you can call treble hook is what we're using for on these guys Got him? Yeah, you got him. Woo! That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> no, old buffalo. Ain't that big, but we're sure acting like it. Yeah, has some pep to him. All right. There we go. Woo! <laughs> he mad. <laughs> Pretty nice buffalo. Got him hooked in a right. Thank you, sir. All right, all right. Get you back. You guys may have noticed my rig here. Let me get untangled out of the net here. Dang them treble hooks that catch on everything. I've got two number eight trebles. And that's kind of a stinger rig, especially for these buffalo, because they a lot of times they just kind of peck around on that bait and use these stinger hooks a lot of times you can get them. So Shoot. Whew. Got, got a good one, guys. Don't stay away from that brush, stay away from that brush, stay away from that brush. Come on now. Yeah, the roots. We're smoking that drag. Got to be careful on that list when I got all this brush. Is that a cat? Yeah, a channel cat. No, it ain't that big. It's just a really nice, pretty nice channel cat, y'all. Would you look at that? Or something a lot bigger than that. Uh, oh. Channel cat, and she got me right in the finger. Whew. That's what I have when a channel cat sting bends you.
Got him? Oh yeah, you got him. Holy crap, dude, what do you got? Uh, I don't know what it is. Big old buffalo. That's a dandy. Boy, they love getting in that brush pile on you, don't they? Yep. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at this. Heck yeah, buddy. That's the biggest Two PBs in one day. Personal best common and personal best buffalo. Had a pretty good day, buddy. Yeah. That is a heck of a buffalo, buddy. Yeah. Personal best. Sweet. Good job, man. Oh, there we go. Got a good one, folks. <laughs> Ooh. common all right Alright guys, nice big old common carp, I think we're getting ready to call it quits for today, but good way to end the trip right there. Hey guys, we are wrapping up for the morning. We had an outstanding trip. We caught what, seven different species I think, channel cat, common carp, buffalo, drum, gar, grinnell, and my nephew had a giant Asian carp. And he caught two uh, personal best today. He caught a personal best buffalo, personal best common carp. You guys can go to about any hole of water that's got buffalo, carp, and do this. I haven't had real good luck doing this when there's a lot of current, but it works good, like ponds, lakes, whatever. But usually, like the common carp, are really sensitive to the noise and everything. So you've got to try to keep your movements and the noise down to a minimum. We were using light tackle, which made it a whole lot much more fun. And we're using a number eight treble and using that doughball. There is a million different kind of prepared baits you can get on Google and find for this type of fishing. But what I use is just what I made up a long time ago and it's worked great for me. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, hit the uh, comment section below. Or if you guys want to see another video like this, hit the comments. And uh, thank you for watching. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. What is everybody's favorite prepared bait for carp or just catfish or anything that you guys like to prepare yourself? Hit me in the comments. I'd like to kind of see what everybody uses. And if you guys have any suggestions for any other future videos, definitely head up, head up in the comments. I want to hear everybody's comments. Don't be afraid to post those fish pictures. I want to see what you guys are catching. But uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one.